I'm going to be building an email newsletter business. This is one of the best business models because it can scale quickly to thousands of dollars without any expenses. So follow along as I show you the steps I take to build a profitable business. Now, before we go any further, I want to explain the email newsletter business model. It's very simple. You put out emails, advertisers pay to be featured on them, and you print money. I've chosen to use Beehive. They're a gorgeous email platform. They've got great sexy landing pages for capturing subscribers, and they've got amazing email templates to make creating emails so easy. Now, the area I'm gonna be writing in is in four-wheel drive and the outdoors in Australia. This is a well-established niche, but has great opportunities for marketing and brand sponsorships. The first thing I've done is import my existing database of subscribers. If you don't have any, don't be afraid to use friends, family, colleagues, anyone to get started. So now we're gonna send our first email, make sure it's really high quality, so we set the tone of what the platform's gonna be about. Now, check back in tomorrow as we look at the results and we get started searching for an advertiser to start sponsoring our next email. It's time to find a sponsor for our newsletter. We don't have enough subscribers. Oh my God, there's no way. You can't do that. You're too small. Now, most people fall into the trap of thinking their email business is too small to find a sponsor, but actually giving a sponsor a free position is really good. What? You can't give away a free spot on your email newsletter. You're not going to make money. One, gives you credibility. Two, it makes you more attractive for future sponsors because other people are going to look and go, oh my God, people are advertising of them. So here's my plan. Jump on LinkedIn, find a business you want to work with and have sponsor you, find their marketing manager and reach out to them and give away three or four free spots on your email newsletter. Now, you know what this does? This builds a relationship. Although you're giving away three or four free spots, you can actually hopefully convince them to come on board and maybe commit to buying another five or 10 and you know, purchasing and committing. I've got three strategies to grow my newsletter and I'm gonna rank them from easiest to hardest. Number one is leverage your online audiences already. We've all got friends and family on Facebook and Snapchat and Instagram or whatever platform you're using. So get out there and tell people about your newsletter that you're running and encourage them to join. If you're really serious about your business, you're not gonna be scared of doing this. So put yourself out there. Number two is leverage online groups. These might be Facebook groups, Reddit, all sorts of groups. Now, what I recommend doing is actually teasing your content out there. So take your newsletter content and share it to these groups and use it as a teaser. And then if they wanna read more, they can come and join your newsletter and sign up. The problem is this one, you have to provide some value. But if you use your newsletter content wisely, it can work quite well. And the third and hardest one is viral marketing. But what is great about viral marketing is that the opportunity to join and have hundreds of people join you is amazing. It means with one successful giveaway or prize promotion, you might have 100 or 200 people join your newsletter. I want you to practice delayed gratification. Delayed gratification is the ability to delay an impulse for an immediate reward to receive a more favorable reward at a later time. There's a mountain of work to grow this business to be a success, but all the successful people in the world practice delayed gratification. Look at Bill Gates, Elon Musk, Richard Branson. They've spent years and years and years building their business. I recommend you do the same. Nothing happens overnight. I appreciate you guys watching this video. Have a great day. I'll speak to you next time. Thanks, guys.